Okay, welcome back. Just wanted to uh, show this off. Don't think I've shown this on the channel before. This is a diorama that I made many, many years ago when my sculpting skills were <laughs> very basic, non-existent, you might say. Uh, they're all glued to the base. So I can't really show them. You can see the skulls are something like the mighty Boosh would make. <laughs> it's not really a proper skull. Uh, there might be a few better ones in there, but not really. That's about my level of sculpting. Probably hasn't improved much over the years. Fortunately, I don't have to because NECA have uh, taken care of that. And uh, the I've re-sculpted a load of, recast I should say, re-sculpted, recast a load of skulls. So I'm going to get rid of the old and get some new ones in there. And uh, what I've done, I'll just show you the, the pierce the resistance, the HK. I know it doesn't really go with the DVDs and the Febreze and the, the Daleks. But let me give you a aerial shot. That's a nice uh, piece that was made um, by Horizon Models, I believe. And I uh, bought it off eBay many, many years ago. And uh, just used some chrome paint on it. It was already built up, but uh, it was just a, a flat grey. So I sprayed on some chrome paint and uh, these wings fins they do droop but yeah as you can see it's a nice piece and i might change this out for a uh, an acrylic pole uh, in the back there you can see it focuses, that's the NECA Terminator from many years back. And this one here is the very delicate McFarlane one. Very cool, very accurate, I'd say. Very delicate. I can't, don't know where the weapons are at the moment. This NECA one did come on its own base. So I think, I think uh, it's boxed up with all the weapons somewhere else. But the McFarlane one come with a pulse rifle. Not a pulse rifle, is it? Plasma rifle. But it's very small and undersized looking. The NECA one come with a bigger one. So I'll recast a few of those up. And uh, somehow get this one to... I think he will hold it just about. Might need a little bit of glue or maybe some museum putty or something to, to grip it. And this one here has had has seen Jesus has seen better days. I don't know where the, the rest of him went, but I remember buying him like that. I did have the Terminator 3 helicopter diorama from McFarlane, so that's my good friend Kirk and he's had his eye on this for many years but uh, never say never but I don't think I would part with it it's got some real metal in there some plastic, mostly plastic mostly foam sprayed with um, concrete effect spray paint works really well I've got some embedded lights here, tea lights, one there and one over here. They do work. I can show you that lit up in a second. But uh, this is very heavy and very awkward to get to. Uh, let me try it. I might be able to pull, and I can pull one of the lights through the base, because I did earlier. I'm not sure about the other one. 
and I'll change the batteries. So I know this one, they'll buy it again. Obviously it needs covering up a bit better. I knock the light off. You'll see the effect. Looks great. So you got one there, one there, and uh, yeah. Originally, this started out as just this square here, which I don't know if it comes up. Yeah, it does. The pole's going through the middle of it. Started off with this, just this section, and then I expanded it out. Uh, and all these girder type things are just bits of plastic uh, boxes and stripped down and melted and I think they look really good. Would like to get some sort of backdrop. I say this doesn't really, it sort of ruins the illusion. But yeah, been working on the base. I've uh, been putting these together. So, some loose skulls and uh, sections. So, yeah, they'll look good painted up and dotted in amongst all the, the rubble. And I might get some of those uh, wires that uh, Pabs put me onto with his Ghostbusters display. They look really good. I was thinking maybe get some of the, the pink ones. Don't know how it'd work though to simulate, you know, the the laser fire. Or if I do build this up sides and back and get a, a backdrop for it, just have some ice blue or just blue lighting flickering that would look pretty cool I think and I so said I've got I think I've got another Necker Terminator I've got a base and some plasma rifles so that's all you really need with the hunter killer looming above might recast some of these sections to uh, just have on the base as well, just to show some downed HKs. It's a really great model by uh, Horizon. I'm not sure what scale these are. I know Paz was saying about the, the Monsters in Motion, I think it is, 132. I think that they're slightly smaller scale. I think this is probably 164 or... 112 or whatever, I don't know what scales. Um, so yeah. Right. So yeah, I just thought I'd give you a quick little update on that. If anybody wants any of these little segments, they're just bits of resin. Um, this was the first one that I cast up. It's quite thick and solid. These other little bits a little bit thinner that one's pretty good pretty solid this one's a very thin and these this one just broke up because it was too thin but i'm getting the hang of it i'm getting the hang of it i say with the polystyrene as a base and then sink these into them and then spray the whole lot with concrete effect i, I might even redo the whole base or just break this one up and scatter bits here and there I do like this section over here <laughs> to get rid of some of these uh, mighty bush skulls this section over here is not too bad and the, the lights so yeah just thought i'd share this with you i've never shared it before it's i've had this channel going for probably i don't know over 10 years been collecting all this sort of stuff and this stuff has just been sitting gathering dust so i thought i'd get it down and uh, get it on the tube. So I hope everyone's having a good time. Happy New Year to everyone. 
take it easy, don't drink too much, and uh, speak soon. Bye-bye.